In this question, we're introduced to a sync function. So we're introduced to this function here. And it helpfully tells us that that's sine pi x divided by pi x. And we're asked to look at these properties here to decide which of these is true. So the first question is about the, whether the signal is deterministic. Now, a deterministic signal is a signal that can be represented mathematically. So if we can express it mathematically, if there's a formula, if there's a mathematical expression for the signal, then it's a deterministic signal. And in this case, we've actually written the formula right there. So it is possible to represent a sync function mathematically, so therefore it is deterministic. Now, the opposite of deterministic is random. So a random signal is a signal that can't be represented mathematically. There isn't a closed-form mathematical expression to represent the signal. So if the signal is deterministic, therefore it cannot be random. The next option is periodic. Now, does this signal repeat itself? Now, it's true that there are ripples, and these ripples are regular in time, but they're not exactly the same. So each ripple has a slightly different shape and different amplitude. And it is true that there is symmetry. So the right side looks like the left side of the uh, time axis, or the x-axis in this case. But that doesn't make it periodic. A periodic signal has to repeat itself. So it would be something like this, where the there is a fixed time between points of similar phase. So this signal is clearly not periodic. Is the signal analog? Now, to determine if a signal is analog, you should be looking at the vertical axis, seeing is there an unlimited number of values that the signal can take? Now, it's true that the signal appears to be limited between 1 and some negative value less than 1, but there's an infinite number of possible values between that maximum and minimum. So this smooth change in amplitude suggests the signal is analog, and therefore it isn't digital. Now, there are these two characteristics or these two types of signal that we, we use to describe signals as being energy signals or power signal. Now an energy signal is a signal that at some point dies out, i.e. it has a finite or a limited energy. So its energy is some finite number. And he helpfully here, in the question, it tells us that the energy of a sync function is pi. So to calculate the energy, you would take x of t squared and integrate it over all time. So x of t is given there, integrated over all time. The answer happens to be pi. So therefore, that is a finite number. So a signal with finite energy is called an energy signal. So this is an energy signal, and therefore it isn't a power signal because these two are mutually exclusive. One is the opposite, if you like, of the other. A power signal is a signal that has an infinite energy, but a finite amount of power, something like a sine wave. Now, a sine wave will continue towards infinity, in time and starts from t equals minus infinity, so the overall energy is infinite. But the power isn't infinite, it's finite, because you would be integrating over a limited amount of time, you'd be dividing by that time, and that would give you a finite number. The next option is causal. Now, a causal signal is a signal which only exists for positive time. So for negative time, a causal signal should be zero. So if this signal were causal, 
it would look like this. That would be a causal signal. But because our signal is clearly non-zero for t less than zero, this isn't a causal signal. Now, final distinction is between odd and even. Now, an odd function is... An odd signal is something like sine t, because sine t or sine minus t is equal to minus sine t. So, a sine wave would look like this, and the negative part is clearly inverted compared to the negative the positive part so we have we have this kind of symmetry so that's what an odd signal looks like here what we have is something that's more similar to a cosine where cosine minus t equals cosine t and that is what we describe as even. So we, we still have the symmetry, but we don't have the inversion. So this is an even signal, or an even function. So therefore, it isn't an odd function. So that's how we would go about answering a question like this about a sync function.